It's Sunday, April 29th, 2012. I'm Kevin McShann, and this is the McShann Sports Beat Report. <laughs> are commodities which must be protected if you want to see a full return and bang for your buck if you devote resources to a particular expedition. And that's precisely the philosophy behind the 23rd overall pick in the 2012 NFL Draft as the Detroit Lions selected offensive tackle Riley Reef which the club is hoping is the eventual successor to longtime mainstay Jeff Backus at left tackle. With the drastically talent in the defensive backfield, a distant memory by the time Detroit was placed on the clock, the club 
ultimately decided to not reach for need and fit a square peg in a round hole, eventually opting to upgrade their aging offensive line by providing it with a boost and infusion of youth. With the selection of Reef and his position flexibility tipped the scales in his favor, according to Lions head coach Jim Schwartz and general manager Martin Mayhew. Bradley Reef, you know, big, smart, tough guy, versatile. We think he can play four positions. Yeah, because I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, but the guy's a three-year starter at a, in a good program, a good, solid offensive lineman. Uh, we came into this draft thinking that, you know, we need to try to add some, some young players to that group. Uh, and Riley certainly fits that mold. But we, you know, we, as, as usual, we, we looked at all of, all, all of our options and we tried to go up. Uh, at one point, we talked about moving back. We ended up staying put and taking a really good player. Well, what about the line? Very important. You know, um, you know, we like the guys we have. We have five quality starters. But it's good to have a young guy in the pipeline with Riley's talent level, so we're excited about what, what uh, Riley brings into the draft. Um, you know, last year we drafted Nick Fairley. We need a lot of things to happen in front of us with all the quarterbacks that went last year to push a guy like that uh, to us. And uh, we felt very fortunate that was able to happen. This year we, it was a very similar situation. Um, it's very, it's very, it's not very often that the second offensive lineman off the board goes off at number 23 overall. Um, you see historically, you know, there's usually about four guys off the by them, so we're very fortunate to be able to be able to sit at 23 and still end up with a player that we liked. Rowie is um, is left tackle. Um, he fits a lot of the criteria. He fits the criteria that you have for that position. Um, athletic, former tight end. Um, you know, the guy was a three-time state champ uh, wrestler. Uh, went to Iowa as a tight end. They moved him. He comes from a great tradition of offensive lineman at Iowa. Um, you know, he's uh, he's He's a good run blocker, and he's a good pass blocker. We're not drafting him as, even though he's still a young player and he'll still improve and, 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 and take other steps, we're not drafting a guy that's a developmental player. He's a very experienced player. He's played at a high level in the Big Ten, and uh, we're, very, we're very fortunate to be able to get him where we were. Yeah, I mean, number one, he's smart. Number two, he's a good athlete. Number three, he's big. Um, you know, that goes a long way. Um, He's not a mismatch as a run blocker or as a, as a pass protector. I said we weren't we weren't drafting him with an eye toward you know he had, he's still worth taking a guy that you wanted to see something else from um, and we like what we saw and um, you know he's he is multi-dimensional I think that adds to his value. By selecting Reef, the Lions decided to pass on blue chip guard prospect David DeCastro of Stanford, versatile offensive lineman Cordy Glenn of Georgia, and the leading sacker from a year ago in the NCAA's Whitney Marsalis of Illinois, who registered 16 sacks in 2011. Bacchus has proven to be extremely durable during the course of his 11-year career, never missing a game in the NFL. However, in September, he will turn 35, and last season, he experienced two major injuries during the lockout in the summer. While working out, he tore his pectoral muscle, and in January, he had surgery to repair ripped biceps, an injury he sustained during the Lions' playoff loss to the New Orleans Saints. Detroit has selected an offensive tackle in each of the last four drafts. However, Reef selected Marks the first time the club has chosen to use their first-round pick on an offensive lineman since Costa Charles was selected with the 17th overall pick in 2008. A three-year starter at Iowa, Reef has experience playing at both tackle spots he also dabbled in playing left guard as a redshirt freshman in 2009 before taking over permanently at left tackle during his sophomore season. He left the Hawkeyes with one more year of eligibility left and entered the draft as a projected potential top 10 pick which fell to the Lions at number 23. Matthew Stafford is the thoroughbred horse 
that the lions have to keep upright and under center in the stable and ready to go out the gates if they want to have any sustainable shot at experiencing the thrill and reaching the threshold of victory. And the easiest way to do that is to keep them upright and clean off the ground. The Lions came into the draft with some obvious defensive deficiencies. However, the players to fill those gaps simply weren't there. So at the end of the day, Martin Mayhew stayed true to his ever so consistent philosophy of taking the best player available on the board at the time of the Lions' election. And yes, they tried to trade off the likes of Stefan Gilmore and Drake Kilpatrick. However, they decided to stay home when it was all said and done and take a really solid player. Now, I must admit, I was banging the table for the Lions to fill some of their defensive needs. I don't think it's being modest to say that the Lions have one of the worst defensive secondaries in the entire league. So certainly, players like Kilpatrick or even Gilmore would have been nice to see in a Lions uniform. But when you add everything up, the Lions got the best value for their pick at where they were picking. And at the very least, they have an upgrade over an ineffective Custer Charles to begin with. And hopefully, based on his history of injuries, with the drafting of Reef, Stafford will be able to make precise decisions because they'll have time in the pocket to scan the field. All in all, it was a solid first round for the Lions, and with Reef now in the fold, the youth movement for an aging offensive line is now officially underway. Kevin McShan, McShan, Sports Beat, Report.